All right, hey, my name is Matt Francis, and here is what I'm working on. First and foremost, encouragement. Thought for the day, straight from the download from my daddy up in heaven. To all those who care to listen, are you a human being, or are you trying to be a human doing? The reason I ask this is because God wants us to be a human being. He loves to be with us in the process. But so many times we as human beings, we think we're not lovable unless we do X. I won't admit it to myself, but I'm constantly trying to be a human doing, which means I'm trying to be a pleasing son. I'm trying to do the right things. I'm trying to take these steps to be a better person, a better everything. And what I'm realizing more and more is God doesn't want us to be a human doing. He wants us to be a human being, which means be in the situation that we're in now, but be in it with Him. And let Him be a part of what we're going through with us by abiding in Him and really learning to hear from the heart of God. There is something so freeing about saying, God, I don't know how to do this. That's a great start for getting to the heart of God because so often we go out and try to fix it by what the world says is a good thing to do. And a lot of times it can be a sin to be right. Whoa! What did he think? Because God cares about the intent and the goal of our heart. Because if you really look at it, a lot of things that we do uh, to try and be a good person are really um, come with some selfish motives. <laughs> not that I've ever done that. No, no, <laughs> not me. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> That's not true. So I know that a lot of you are wrestling with these uh, probably as much, if not more than I am in certain areas of your life. But God is showing me very clearly that even self-discipline is a fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, self-discipline. Self-discipline is in there as one of the fruit of the Spirit. So if we really abide in Christ, what He does is He affects our desire. Desire is something that God is so passionate about. He desires to be with you. He desires to spend time with you. He desires that we come to Him and say, I can't do this. I need my Heavenly Father. Things like food, if that's a problem for you. Or things like, um, you know, some of you men out there with pornography. Um, some of you women out there with uh, never measuring up as a mother, as a, as a wife, as a woman, uh, finding a mate. There's so many things that you wrestle with that you think you have to do something about where God says I want to be in it with you and reveal to you those things that have to do with my desire and when we really submit to that what happens is his desire becomes our desire and it's all uh, rolled up into our good and again it comes back to our identity in him because a lot of times when we try to do things outside of God we start to wrap our identity in the wrong places and that my friends will destroy your existence